Ignore the fact that I've already started reading this book and pretend as if this is a brand new book that I haven't touched ever before that I'm going to intro for this video. Hi everyone, my name is Kushi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm really happy to have you here and I hope you stay, I hope you subscribe, I hope you join the family. So today's video is quite special to me because this is a book I have been waiting to read for a while and I finally have the time to do it. And it is Iron Widow by Shiran J. Zhao. This video is going to be specifically dedicated to this book. I'm going to be reading it, I'm going to be annotating for the first time, I'm going to be walking you through my thoughts and feelings. And honestly, this is just an Iron Widow dedicated reading vlog. It's as simple as that. I have spoken about this book about a thousand times in the past one month. So if you want a detailed, in-depth, what this story is about or what it says on the synopsis, then I will link my previous videos down below. But just to give your imagination something to work with, this is a blend of Pacific Rim the movie where like human beings psychically controlling giant robots to fight weird looking aliens yeah that specific rim and the handmaid's tale with a lot of chinese history a lot of sci-fi-esque moments and i'm quite excited to see what they do with this and i am so ready to read it this week i'm in such a funny mood oh my god um also if you can hear the doors banging that's not me, that's my housemates, and there's nothing I can do about that. What I'm also really excited about for this book is that I'm going to be annotating for the very first time. Now, my journey with annotating is I've never liked marking my books. Like, I'm warming up to it more now, obviously, since I'm planning to annotate a book. But I've never liked making marks on books or, like, using sketch pens or highlighters. Like, I only do that for study guides. Otherwise, I don't like doing it, especially if it's a novel. I want my books in pristine condition. Um, but I've heard so much about how people say that when you annotate, you it's a more in-depth read and you feel closer to what you're reading and I have always wanted to record my thoughts within the book as well so I think I'm finally just gonna push myself to try it like what's the worst that's gonna happen I'm not gonna enjoy it fine I won't do it for the rest of my books but I think I'm gonna try it for this one and like I'm not gonna go crazy and write all over the pages and stuff like I'll write on post-it notes and like I'll go easy on the underlining and stuff but I want to try it because I, I want to see what what the hype is. So we're going to use these tabs to mark specific moments in the story and I'll also use the Stedler fine liners to underline those moments if I feel like I want to and if it's not going to be too messy. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little nervous because like I said, I don't like marking my books but I really want to try it. Just, you know, like baby steps you don't you don't just dive into the deep end when it's something like this at least not for me we're taking baby steps and we're gonna see how it works out for me and if i like it then good for me that is basically what this video is gonna be about i am so excited to talk to you about this book and to read this book and i can't wait to see how I feel about it in the end. Like so many people have tried talking to me about this book, but I keep saying, shh, shh, no spoilers. Don't tell me anything. We'll discuss it after I finish reading. Well, now I'm actually gonna read it. So, let's go. Ah, I'm so excited.
There is a kind of creature in the mountain with the look of a fox with nine tails whose sound is like an infant's cry. It feasts on human flesh. So after the prologue and then that, the feel that I'm getting here is very like, yes, yeah, specific rim, but also a particular episode from Love, Death and Robots. This is the show I'm talking about. Like it's on Netflix and it's an anthology of short stories, not particularly connected to each other, but very sci-fi, very cool, very beautiful. I highly recommend. In fact, I'll even try and link it down below, but I highly recommend you watch it. Love, Death and Robots, so good. I love it. And like all credit goes to my partner. He forced me to watch this and I'm so happy. Within the first 20 pages of this book they've set us up for the kind of world we're looking forward to which is a world that's very happy to sacrifice and abuse women and it's just ridiculous because without women where exactly are you gonna go in life like why would you sacrifice women in the most basic biological sense it doesn't make sense to kill women the way they have been. That doesn't matter. What matters is that women are being abused and discriminated against. Discriminated isn't even a word. Like women are objects from the way, from what I get within the first 20 pages. And it's absolutely infuriating, but the book has done very well to set us up for this world and for this story. So I guess well done, <laughs> but it's infuriating. Anyway. Um, highly recommend you watch Love, Death and Robots and I'm gonna continue reading now. So I've just reached the part in the story where this ancient Chinese ritual has been mentioned. The foot binding one. And I was very surprised because I've never heard of such a ritual before even though the term lotus feet was something I'd heard before I just never thought of looking it up so I decided I would look it up and this is what we have if you feel like you want to read any of the stuff on the slides then just feel free to pause the video and go through the pictures and the stuff i've shown foot binding was the chinese custom of breaking and tightly binding the feet of young girls and by young girls they mean here like starting from age five in order to change their shape and size Feet altered by foot binding were known as lotus feet and the shoes made for these feet were known as lotus shoes. I have a couple pictures of those in here. In late imperial China, bound feet were considered a status symbol and a mark of feminine beauty. However, foot binding was a painful practice that limited the mobility of women and resulted in lifelong disabilities. The process of foot binding was absolutely shocking. So the first step is soaking in warm water with herbs and animal blood. And it says you start foot binding at around five years of age. And mind you, this is something that only women do. The second step is curling the last four toes over to the sole of the foot. It takes three to four years to shape the toes under the sole. The third one is binding with bandages to maintain the shape and the fourth step is breaking the toes and arch with force. I mean, obviously, since this is not a ritual I'm very familiar with, I might come off as ignorant when talking about it. Or if you know more about this practice, then you're more than welcome to drop links down below or tell me about it because I would love to learn and educate myself but i just thought it was so interesting and just shocking and i just wanted to research it and i thought i'd share with you what i found out and yes the reason i look so dead right now is because this is me at 11 in the night after a very very full day of school so i look a little dead i'm aware but we move this 
is probably going to be my shortest 50% check-in ever. We are officially 50% through Iron Widow and do I like this book? I don't know. And it pains me to say that because you all know how much I have been talking about this book in the past couple of videos. So it hurts me to say that, but I don't know if I like this book. And I think one of the main reasons is because uh, for the most part of the first 50% of this book, I did not like our main character. I'm still trying to keep an open mind. I still want... To love this book and give this book a chance so i'm i'm still trying you know yeah we're gonna try because we're not sure Iron Widow and disappointing doesn't begin to cover it no it doesn't like oh what did I just read I was ready I was ready for it and then this happened and I'm I'm just like ah I, I that the yeah, I did not like it. <laughs> what I expected would be a four or five stars is now a one star book. Actually, I'm debating between one and 1.5 stars, which is oh, such a difference. But honestly, the 0.5 is literally just for the boys. Things did not go well, clearly. And I'm not happy about it. The concept has so much potential and I think the writing could have been better. The writing could have just been <laughs> better. Don't get me wrong. The world in this book, the patriarchy, the misogyny, the way the women and girls are treated is absolutely disgusting and cruel. And when I say I did not like this book, I'm not siding with that ridiculous nonsense at all. Like, that is not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say here is there were so many opportunities, so many missed opportunities, and there were so many things that could have been portrayed in a different way, in a non-toxic way. And, like, so many people like this book, and it really makes me wonder about the way feminism is perceived and received in this day and age. Like... This book plays on so many harmful stereotypes and I just feel very uncomfortable. Like, I recognize as a feminist and I wanted this book to be the feminist breakthrough that everybody is promoting it as, but it just... It... I don't know how much good this book does. I really don't. Especially when conversations like this are important. And like... Even just in the minor things like pay gaps, like women get paid less for the same jobs men do and like women are treated so horribly all across the world in different cultures and different places and different traditions. Like this is an important conversation. Books like this are important even if it's set in a world that's not real. Like I'm, I'm trying not to speak too much about it because I have decided that I'm going to do a separate rant video right after this one because, man, do I have things to say. 
I have so much I want to say about this book, so many things I want to point out, but I am very conscious of the fact that this video is already, like, probably, what, 20 minutes long, and I don't, like, I want it to be a fresh thing. I just want to say, like, there are things I appreciate, which is, I appreciate the things I got to learn from this book about Chinese culture and about, uh, like, ancient Chinese rituals. I appreciate the opportunity I got to, like, research and educate myself about these things. I appreciate this, like the slight tender moments that took place in the book, uh, which was mostly with the boys. And if you know, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but I appreciate those moments a lot because it made this book readable to me. And I appreciate, as a writer myself, I understand how hard it would be to write a book. So I appreciate the effort the author has put into writing this book. Like, I'm not saying it would have been easy, but what I'm saying is I want to be honest with you guys and I will always be honest with you about the way I feel about the books I read and this was just not it for me. Like, I was not feeling it. And that breaks my heart. I think there's just a universe, you know, like, balancing out the fact that I've had so many good reads recently, so it had to throw a curveball at me. I'm not gonna say much more about this book, not in this video, because, like I said, this book deserves a whole separate video just for that. Now that I've said all of that, I am aware that we are pulling up to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I really appreciate having you all, like, be part of this journey with me. I just love you guys and I love doing this for you like it's as simple as that and thank you to everyone and anyone who has watched this far into the video if you have then go down in the comments and tell me what you've been up to what you've been reading what you want to read or just how your life is going I guess like I respond to every single one of my comments so you shall not be missed I hope you subscribe i hope you stay i hope you join the family i hope you like you comment you make some new friends in the comments and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos i make and post and before i leave just to be a tease i am gonna give you a slight sneak peek into what the next video is gonna look like just because I'm excited about it, like I never thought I would make it and it kind of makes me sad that I have to make it but I'm, a I'm still excited about the next video and cue the sneak peek Why do anything to change the system when I can just go around killing men? <laughs> Yo, someone needs to explain to me why people are going crazy over this book